And I would like to ask Yo Yo to come with me. So honor that you are here, and I'm really very delighted. Yo Yo is coming from Kingdom in. Oh, we have to stand here. Um, You want to have it here? Yeah? Okay. Yoyo is coming from the kingdom in Indonesia, and you take care most about? About how to plant rice following the star cycle. I give you the floor. <clears throat> Hello everyone. Hello. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Hello, hello. This is the program of <clears throat> as of Wonderland, isn't it? Would you like to please to number one? Here I come from the kingdom from above, but this is only two villages. We have 568 villages. This is only two, one and two. So we have 668 villages. Can you imagine? We are living at three sub-district area, which is uh, perhaps sometimes, someday you see. Where is Bogor, is Lebak, where is uh, Sukabumi, living with us uh, around 30, just 30,000 people inside who's keeping in the tradition and ancient tradition. I'm going to talk about Pranata Mangsa, which is also related to the age of Wonderland. This is the age, this is the time. I come from Wonderland. You see? It's wonder. Kasepuhan Cipta Gelar, which is also a kind like a kingdom, system, the way of living and life, the way of life and thinking also. We follow everything just following the role of the, of the ancestor. We don't do anything without uh, creation, any creation. We, do, we don't create anything. We don't have any expectation, only just do what we're supposed to do as a generation to regenerate from what the, ascent, the ancestor do. Nyoryang alam ka tukang nyawang mangsa nu bakal datang. This is uh, revisiting the past in order to see the glimpse in our future. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Agriculture, agriculture, sorry, <coughs> my English, I hope you understand about my, my English is not so good, but it's just enough to say something, which is uh, in our tradition. <laughs> we are following, we can say, uh, we are following the cycle of the nature. We are following the cycle of the star. Start telling us everything in the in the way of planting, 
if we follow, we follow the stars, which is also we follow the cycle of the life, we don't, we will not ever use any pesticide at all, because star will telling us when we have to plant. When we don't have to, when we have to stop to plant, but also when is the timing for the insect will be breeding, but the rest will be breeding, which is not, uh, which is if we plant in the wrong timing, the insect will come, and people will use pesticide to kill, and which is also we will eat that pesticide for us. Here, see, kerti, and also kidang we call. Kerti, which is also in international uh, words. Uh, this is the Pleiades, Pleiades? Yeah, perhaps. And also kidang is a uh, Orion Nebula. For some people who still keeping in the ancient tradition, they still use it for the planting, not for life cycle, not for daily activities, because for day, day, day life activities, we only use sun and the moon. Special for star, it is for planting, also for the, the direction, if uh, someone who's living in the ocean, in, yeah, for fishing. Uh, tanggal kerti turun wesi, tanggal kidang turun kujang, surup kidang turun kungkang. This is also telling us the timing when we have to get ready, we have, we have to starting to work on the rice field, and also when is the timing not to plant, because the time for the insect breeding. And also all talking about rice, we have to use everything by manual. At the other concept, because rice, is the food for human, not the food for machine. So we don't use machine to bring rice. Even we have car, we have motorcycle. No matter how long, how, how far we have this rice, we have to carry by ourselves. So because we work hard, there is no people who has too much fat. <laughs> Even we eat a lot. So just like a kind of like balance. Um, sorry. Yes, please. <coughs> I lost my voice. Please <coughs> continue. Everything about rice talk, uh, is more talking about life. Rice alive because of us. We alive because of rice. That in our place. Of course, it will be different with here. But also, let's see something. Perhaps it's, uh, there is something we, it's uh, useful also or related to, to here. I mean, talking about rice, talking about life talking about the power who make us alive. So don't forget to thanks to the earth as a mother and to the sky as a father. So everything we do with rituals and rituals and rituals. We don't talk about religion in this way, okay? Because talking about the ancient tradition. And also, this is the, the starting to plant rice and after a couple months, then we got that much rice, and also we still do the ritual. This is uh, the ritual of Pengasuk, which is also initial paddy planting tradition at the, uh, our kingdom. The name is Cipta Gelar. Don't forget to write it down. Cipta Gelar, also related to the age of Wonderland, and also the time to show something from the wonderland, to see something, gelar which is to show, because our kingdom, okay, 
existed since 1368, but we just we have to hide it. Then 2001, we get message from the ancestor. We have to show it again. After more than 600 years, then 2001, we change the name. It's become Chiptaglar, which is the time to show up again. Indonesian people call us. We bring new cultures because it almost disappear. This uh, our cultures, but exactly we are really old and really ancient about our culture. And this is also uh, like a, a, com a comparison between uh, our traditional way with uh, the Green Revolution, 1966 something. What happened is really like uh, in the opposite side, in the opposite way. We are planting rice for our life, not to sell and not for sale. Because life, not for selling. But everybody who's coming to our kingdom will have their own rice, will have their life. But also we can make money for other things, not for, not from rice, of course. Uh, at the other side, also I can say, we still have meat a lot. We have hunting season three times a year. During hunting season, only three days, we uh, we hunt deer. We still have deer because we are living in the mountain for 40,500 hectares or something like that. Still in the really like a forest. And also, every animal who's living with us, with us every plant who's growing around us, that's for us, for people. That's in our belief. So that's why, talking about rice, talking about ourselves, rice grow because of us. We alive because of the rice. And then, here, we are as a human being. Everything's living around us and following us. Nobody plant, nobody food, nobody by like if someone build house is there anyone who put the mother of cockroach in their house or the mothers of rat or a kind like the animal things who sleeping in the house in our house or perhaps an ant nobody but they are coming with us so we are as human being has to be like trees who everything could alive around the trees with the trees monkeys birds snake everything just alive around us around the trees should be like that this is the symbol of gunungan or in uh, wayang golek something or in every wayang, we have this uh, symbol of life and living, who's also living with us, not just uh, not just uh, what is that? The dragon, dragon also symbol of between left and right side of living, and also talking about knowledge and everything about life and living. You see, at the end, still star what Japanese call Subaru, but what we call Kerti, which is also pointing to the point when we could start our life following the star. That's the symbol still there. And at the end, this is our army. We call Polda, Polisi Dapu. Thank you and thank you. Thank you very much, Yoyo. I think you moved a lot of people here in the room, and I have now the honor to bring you over there for the discussion. And Kurt, you did a wonderful first job in improvising. I give you <laughs> second time. Okay, I will, t I, will, I will try again. Can we go back one slide? Okay, 
Um, yo yo, thank you for the wonderful presentation. I enjoyed it a lot. I'm going to be very honest with you now. Um, I'm, I don't want to walk around with a bag of rice every day. I'm just honest about it. Um, and actually, I also don't want to go back to the food production system of my grandfather, because I think he had a wonderful life, but I still think my life is more interesting. Um, but still, I think we can learn a lot from you. We can learn so much from you, because what you were teaching us, and I think this wonderful image shows it, is I would, for lack of a better term, call it ecological intelligence. And this sentence, I'm just going to read it out loud. It is our duty as human beings to nurture and protect, protect the whole living creature in the universe with knowledge and kindness. And this is not about going back to some setting from the past, but it's about knowledge. It's about ecological intelligence. And we have to figure out a way to do that. Well, in this country, with uh, 17 million people on such a small scale, we cannot copy your rice fields and rebuild them because there are too many people and not enough space. But we can maybe learn from the dynamics, and then I repeat, the ecological intelligence. And, and that brings me to, to you, Klaas. Um, because you gave us some bad news, and, but also some, some good news, I think. Um, there's no food security without nutrition security. I think that's really a truth. We have to look into that. Uh, the hidden hunger. That, that's something I, I never saw it, but you made it visible. Um, and then overweight increases more rapidly than the hunger decreases. So that's... That's, 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 that's not a positive story so far, but you ended also with this notion that the private sector is changing. And earlier we were talking about what feeds the system, um, what is the metabolism of the system. And I think if we can go to this notion of ecological intelligence, what I see here, and maybe put also the private sector here and people there, and then make this interesting network that is an ecology in its own right. Perhaps, perhaps, uh, we can use here because uh, if everybody uh, planting for themselves, which is also they secure their own food. But also, our food is of course talking about life, but perhaps the meaning of life here will be different. It's really possible, why not? Thank you, but what do you advise? Because I'm not making my own food, and I'm not the only one. There are about one person here makes the food for 125 people. That's the situation right now. So is that something, do you say, like, stop and, and go back? Or how to move uh, forward? Because honestly, I, if I work eight hours a day, um, I'm spending it on a lot of things, which are also very interesting. Um, so I'm not going to spend it on, f on food production. Um, what is your advice? Am I, should I turn back and stop, or can I find a way forward? I I'm, I'm really want to hear. Something really the wisdom, perhaps, if you like to hear. I would like to invite Fadil, because his English is better than me. There are proverbs. There is a proverb from the elders. Kutu tongo walang tage. Setiap makhluk anu hirup pasti dirizkian diberedaharna jeng rejekina. It is even really difficult for me to, but I will try. I will try because comparing to you guys, I'm the best at it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
uh, every living creatures here, not only human, right? Every living creatures, there is always, uh, how do you call it? Gift, there is always gift. So you are here living in this world. You already have anything you need with you. So don't be scared. That is actually what, what, what Yo-Yo is trying to say. Because uh, Arne said before that what's driven the system is fear, right? We always fear about anything we don't know, actually. Not anything harm us, but anything we don't know. But Yo-Yo is trying to say that don't, don't be fear and to believe and just believe that whatever you need, you already have it. You just don't know. That's great. Thank you. So thank you, speakers. Terima kasih. Nuhun.